I'm Officer Michael Bullock, M-I-C-H-A-E-L, last name B-U-L-L-O-C-K, with the Austin Police Department Public Information Office. Today at approximately midnight, officers responded to a shots fired call near the intersection of 7th Street and IH-35 underneath the bridge just across from APD main headquarters. As officers were on, were on scene at that primary location, information was received that a possible shooting and disturbance had occurred at that location. While officers were on scene checking the area, a secondary call was received here at 18th Street and Colorado Street where two potential victims were injured related to the initial shooting and had been shot here at this location. When officers arrived on scene along with Austin Travis County EMS, they did locate two victims, one male and one female. That female victim unfortunately did succumb to her injuries and was pronounced deceased here on scene. And the male victim was transported to a local area hospital where he's currently undergoing treatment for his injuries but is stable and expected to survive. At this point in time, it's unknown exactly how many people were involved in the incident as well as what exactly led up to this incident tonight. Our preliminary investigation at this point in time uh, indicates that there's no ongoing threat to the general public. However, we are asking for anyone that was in the area that saw anything or heard anything to please contact us either through our homicide tip line at 512-477-3588 or through Crime Stoppers at 512-472-TIPS. That's 512-472-8477. And please do remember that Crime Stoppers offers a $1,000 reward for anyone who comes forward with information that can lead to an arrest in this incident. Do y'all have any questions? Did you, you said one female was deceased. There was another one that was killed, right? At this point in time, there's only two victims. One female victim that was pronounced deceased here on scene, and then a second male victim that was injured but was transported and is currently stable and uh, is expected to survive. Okay, because I guess Austin Travis County EMS said that two were deceased. As far as I'm aware, we only have one female victim who's deceased at this point in time. They also said there was a third patient transported by POV. As, like I said, at this point in time, the information that I have received is that there are only two victims, one who was pronounced deceased here on scene and a second who was transported to the hospital um, and is expected to survive. At this point in time, that's all that I have related to who was deceased and who was injured. Where did you say that it started? The initial call came out at 7th Street and IH 35 underneath the bridge just across from APD Main. And was it, do you know if it was just like a gathering of people or if it was like a, a group of people that were fighting or? So we didn't have any information initially related to exactly what was going on. It wasn't until a little while later that we received information that disturbance had occurred, but the details about that disturbance or who, invo who was involved or what exactly went on, we don't know. So whether they were known to each other or anything like that, we're not sure. Was the female shot and killed at this intersection up here? So the female was de pronounced deceased here on scene, but we believe it's related to the initial incident over at 7th and 35. Thank you. Did any shooting happen here? Or? As far as I'm aware, no shots were fired here. This is just where another call came out saying that they were related to the initial incident. So the two vehicles then were together, drove over here together, it appears? Whether they drove over here together or not is part of what we're trying to look into as far as the details. Obviously, as you can tell, they both arrived here on this, uh, at this location. But if they came here together or not, I'm not aware as to whether that was the case. So right. that's what we're trying to figure out and we're checking surveillance cameras. Is there any indication there may be a third vehicle involved that may have been a suspect or anything like that? So obviously being at 7th and 35, there's a whole lot of vehicles around there, uh, especially at this time of night when the call came out. So the exact number of vehicles involved, we're not entirely sure, but we don't have anybody in custody at this point in time, so we are still looking for our suspect. You don't have a description yet? At this point in time, nothing to put out. The people that were here earlier, there was like a couple and then two other gentlemen. Were they able to give you any kind of witness description or anything? So anytime we do have multiple people on scene that may have saw anything, usually we will, you know, try to take them somewhere so we can interview them outside of the chaos of these types of scenes. And so that type of information is trying to be gathered right now. Any other questions? All right, y'all. Appreciate it.
don't have any avail anyone available for Spanish sound, do you? Unfortunately, no. Okay. I wish I Thanks. did. I just had to ask.